Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will make a keypad door lock in Tinkercad. So first of all, we have to open our Chrome browser or any browser you have. Then you have to type Tinkercad. Then you have to open this first site. Then for creating a new project, you have to come on create and we are making a circuit so we have to select circuits then this is our environment where we can create any circuit which is available in Tinkercad basic components now first for making keypad door lock we have want some components like Arduino then we need a servo motor we need a lcd with i2c then we need a keypad keypad 4x4 four four. then we need a buzzer for indication Now what we have to do is we have to connect them all in sequence so we can run our keypad door lock. So first of all I'm doing the wiring of keypad to Arduino. So here from column 4 to pin number 2 D2 then column 3 to pin number 3 of Arduino then column 2 to D4 of Arduino, column 1, column 1 to D5 of Arduino. Let me zoom a little bit so you can see clearly. Then uh, row 4 to D6, then row 3 to D7, and row 2 to D8, and row 1 to D9. So this here, our keypad is connected from uh, Arduino perfectly. Let us arrange it properly. Then now what we have to do is, let us do a mirror component so we can use it properly. You have to connect the positive terminal of your buzzer to 11 number of Arduino and uh, negative terminal of your buzzer to GND of uh, Arduino. Okay, now we we will connect our servo motor. So let us take a little bit down. Then we have to rotate it a little bit. You can make it according to you. It's up to you how you can arrange these. Then first of all, we will connect the signal pin to the 10 number pin of Arduino and power pin to 3.3 volts of Arduino then ground pin to ground of Arduino here now after that we have we will connect our LCD display to Arduino so first of all we will connect our ground to GND of Arduino VCC power to 5 volt of Arduino, SDA pin to D2, sorry, to A4 of Arduino, then SCL to 5A5 A5 of Arduino. Okay, so basically, you can arrange these components properly to make it look good and change the wire colors according to you. Now one thing we have to do is this, we have to change the type of our LCD PF, PCF8574 based and we have to change the address to 390x27 because our display size is this only. Then we have to go in code. So we, do, we are not using the block code, we are using the text code so we will select our text then we will select continue 
then here you can see a C++ code. We have to remove this. We don't use, we want to use this thing. Then um, here we have the Arduino code of keypad dialog that we have used in our previous video. If you haven't watched this, you can watch it too. Then we will select this code and copy paste in our Tinkercad environment. Here you can see this is our code. Now we will try to start simulation. And now here you can see that hash include password.h is no such file or directory. This is a common problem to all which will use the keypad. So this thing is to hold password like this 01234. So for Solving this issue, what we have to do is first of all, we have to remove this hash encode. Then you have to go in your my PC or whatever you have. Then you have to go in documents or in, in Arduino. Then you have to go in libraries. Then you will you have you can see here is a password type library. You have to select this then you have to open src folder here you can find c header file and c++ source file so first of all we will see this c header file here you can see there is a c header file now what we have to do is we have to select this and copy paste it there so our program will work perfectly so i'm not selecting this comments i'm selecting it from here because that is useless to us I'm selecting it all till hash and if then we have to copy paste in our environment from here here you can see we have pasted then the next thing what you have to do you have to go in different line and you have to open this C++ source file also and here's our C++ source file now what you have to do, you have to select it from here. I'm not selecting the comments. As you know, it's not useful to us. So I'm copying it and pasting it in our environment, okay? Now you can remove these comments if you want, but I'm not removing it. Then uh, the one thing what we have to do is now, we have to remove this from Arduino version to and if first of all we have to remove this then we will go down uh, we will not find anything then you have to remove this hash enclosed password.h now we will try to run our code everything is good everything is like our previous code only but but uh, additional thing we have done is uh, we have expanded the password.h file because there is no such file in libraries of uh, Tinkercad. So we have expanded the library in Tinkercad. Okay. Now let us start our simulation and see its work or not. Here you can see it's per working perfectly fine. Welcome to Dialog System. Enter password. Now you can change your own password from somewhere uh, from here. You can see I have write 0, 1, 2, 3. You can type your own password here. So let us try 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3. Then uh, here you can see buzzer is beeped and it says correct password. Now I'll Close the server again. Zero, one, two, three, and D. Correct password dot opened. It's good. Now I will try some wrong password. Then I will press T.
here you can see it's showing the wrong password so if you like this video you can subscribe and comment what you have next problem and what the video i can make you next and the code link is given in description and circuit diagram link also given in the description you can copy paste the code and run your simulation in tinkercad thanks for watching sign out